Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. It is now 645 and we are off to a very hazy and smoky start to our day. The haze and smoke from the Canadian wildfires really limiting visibility across the tri-state. So for your morning commute, you may want to give yourself a few extra minutes to reach your destination to be able to, to slow down and, and deal with the low visibility. But we also have heat that's going to be a factor beginning tomorrow and continuing through the end of our work week. Most of the tri-state now under a heat advisory that will run through both tomorrow and into Friday as well with actual temperatures pushing the mid to upper 90s may have a few spots uh, especially southwest of the tri-state but maybe in our southern counties that get close to the triple digits for the actual air temperatures both tomorrow and friday and that will easily with the high humidity allow for our feels light temperatures those heat index readings to be anywhere from 105 to maybe as high as 110 for part of the tri-state and those areas in that kind of darker purple that light gray there that is a air quality alert that is in effect for the tri-state most of the tri-state today because of the smoke and haze from the Canadian wildfires. Here's a look at what it looks like outside for most of our uh, tower camera networks across the Evansville Metro, a very similar scene across most of the area with the smoke thickening up here across the tri-state. Check out that scene of downtown Evansville. That's our superior ag tower camera. The sun shining through the smoke and haze, very low visibility. And again, that is not fog. That is the smoke and the haze and producing some very low visibility. One mile visibility at the airport in Owensboro, about a mile and a half for Tell City, Santa Claus, Jasper, Princeton as well. One mile up in Vincennes. Same story across the Wabash, about a mile and a half for Fairfield and Flora. And then it improves a little bit the further southwest that you go, uh, up to five miles. But still, a clear vantage point is 10 miles. So all of us dealing with at least some kind of visibility issue here for the morning commute today. Temperatures are holding steady right now. I haven't really moved a whole lot over the last couple of hours. Uh, with that kind of thicker haze in the area, but we should still make it up into the uh, mid to upper 80s by the lunch hour, and I think right around 90 for most of us for high temperatures later today. Nothing on first warning Doppler radar right now. We are watching the possibility of a couple of clusters of showers and storms that will be quickly moving from northwest to southeast between tomorrow morning and again Friday afternoon and evening as well. Not all day rains, but when they do move through, they could pack a punch with some heavy rain, much needed rain at that, and uh, also the possibility of maybe some strong to severe storms. So cluster number one could come through around this time tomorrow morning. Future tracker at 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow has it right over the Evansville Metro from northwest to southeast. Isolated strong to severe storm can't be ruled out with that. Better chances the further northeast that you go as the system starts to move and it's going to be pretty quickly out of the area too. Uh, already in our southern and southeastern counties by 8 to 9 o'clock and then by the lunch hour tomorrow we should be clear of most if not all of the precipitation. That's wave number one another couple clusters could impact part of us on Friday as future tracker shows that going through the morning maybe some showers and storms up to the north and northeast and could have another wave try to develop as we go later into Friday evening and Friday night as well and then the activity becomes more numerous and scattered as we head into the holiday weekend for both Saturday and Sunday not all day rains but just kind of that nuisance off and on continuing to make it difficult for any of those outdoor plans as well so each of the next couple of days has at least some type of severe weather risk this is for the overnight hours, not for today, but areas northwest of Evansville, maybe an isolated strong storm that increases to a slight level two risk for the northeast half of the tri-state tomorrow morning into the midday hours. And then again, we should dry out by later Thursday afternoon. And then same areas northeast of Evansville for Friday and Friday evening, a level one threat for a marginal uh, isolated damaging wind gust with those storms. Today, hazy sunshine, mostly sunny. Clouds increase though later in the afternoon and evening. Highs today right around 90 degrees. And then your 70 forecast, of course, we have the heat advisor that goes into effect tomorrow, continuing into Friday with highs in the mid to upper 90s. Uh, and heat index values right around the 105, maybe as high as 110 range for parts of the tri-state as well. A little relief from the humidity and the heat as we head into the second half of your holiday weekend, but still very hot and humid for Saturday. Scattered showers and storms, we're still in the mid-90s. But temperatures go down back to where they should be for this time of the year for the 4th of July, thankfully. So uh, we don't have the widespread heat and humidity to deal with or the uncomfortable heat and humidity mm -hmm. for the 4th of July, but still going to be hot and humid regardless. Yep.